السلام علیکم کلاس ویلکم بیک سو لاسٹ ٹائم وی لرنڈ اباؤٹ کلاس اے ایمپلیفائر فرام دی پاور ایمپلیفائرس اینڈ ان دی کلاس اے ایمپلیفائر یور آؤٹ پٹ سگنل واز پریزنٹ ایٹ دی 360 ڈگری اوکے دی کمپلیٹ آؤٹ پٹ سگنل یو ار گیٹنگ اینڈ دی نارمل ایفیشینسی اف دی کلاس اے ایمپلیفائر واز 25% اینڈ وتھ دی ٹرانسفارمر کپلنگ وی گیٹ اپ ٹو 50% maximum efficiency okay now uh, we will look uh, into the second category of the power amplifiers which is basically class B okay so the class B amplifier what is actually happening we actually have a complementary pair of uh, electronic devices okay how it works let's have a look so here we are considering only one transistor okay this is basically uh, emitter follower configuration okay you are supplying the input here now here we have the base emitter voltage right and uh, when this input voltage here will be greater than this base emitter voltage okay or like uh, we can say that input voltage is 0.7 volt at that time this transistor will turn on okay it will start working okay so basically what it, uh, what will happen when we have the positive cycle of the input and when this input goes above 0.7 so this line is 0.7 so when this input is greater than 0.7 this transistor is turning on and we will get output okay so for positive cycle we will get this thing at the output okay and then for the next cycle what is happening okay after this time the input voltage value is dropping okay so input voltage value is becoming less than 0.7 volt so at this time this transistor will be off okay so if this transistor is off so here no current will be flowing this is open circuit so if no current is flowing your output voltage will be zero so that is this case okay for the negative cycle starting from this to this time this will be off again we have positive cycle we will get the positive cycle here. again negative cycle it will be off okay so for the one transistor case that will be our output and uh, this is just like the simple operation and if it is acting as an amplifier of course like you say amplifier structure we will get some gain okay let's say if we have this input let's say the gain is 5 okay so the output will be multiply with 5 okay if this amplitude is 1 okay but we will have only the positive cycle okay for the negative cycle your amplifier will be turn off zero again positive cycle okay we will get that zero again that okay so that is the basic operation okay for only with one transistor but in actual class b amplifier we have two transistors Okay, we have one transistor here and one transistor here. Or we call them complementary pair. Okay, push pull up device. So what will happen? Let's say if this is my input. So for the positive cycle, this transistor will be working. That the output I will get at positive cycle. For the negative cycle, this transistor will be working or this device will be working, and I will get that at the output. Okay. so i will get both positive and negative cycle complete by using two complementary devices complementary pair of devices means from these two devices from the pair of the devices only one will be working at a time okay so if this is working then it will be off and if this is working then it will be off okay so that is the meaning of and if you don't have any input if the input is zero then both a and b will be off output will be zero okay and uh, as i said now if you are supplying positive input here okay then uh, a will be on and b will be off okay so if this is on so that will be the flow of the current okay meter forward configuration okay current will be coming from here this is off open circuit current will go here okay 
and uh, if the input voltage is negative okay then this will be on this will be off okay now we have a negative supply so basically here we have positive sub supply so this is the flow of the current okay now here we'll have negative supply here so that will be the flow of the current okay so basically this device will sink the current from the load side okay so that will be the operation for the positive terminal for the positive out input this will be working on and for the negative one this will be working okay and eventually what will happen we will get the complete output signal okay and if we draw the transfer from, uh, transfer characteristic so what will happen when we are having positive signal we are getting output okay so it will be basically have a linear relationship here okay linear output okay you with the unity slope okay and when we have negative value again we will get the output but that will be negative sides okay so that will be the negative slope so that is the basic ideal transfer characteristics of the complementary pair okay that for the positive case a is working for the negative case b is working and other will be off okay so in the real time amplifier what we do we replace a with this transistor okay pnp transistor and we replace q with the npn transistor okay so we have two transistor q and n q p and we are supplying input here okay so what will happen this is a base emitter voltage of 0.7 okay so when this input voltage is greater than 0.7 volt now okay then this transistor will be on if this is on okay we will get this positive at the output okay so in the linear transfer characteristics that will be that case it will start working at 0.7 when input voltage is greater than 0.7 then it will turn on okay when the base emitter voltage is higher than 0.7 the junction will break and the current will start flowing okay and uh, if the input voltage is less than 0.7 okay negative value okay minus 0.7 okay then this will turn on okay and this will be off here that will be the slope and uh, that will be basically that case okay so this is for this case and this is for this case okay for the negative side okay so here if we notice one thing what is actually happening okay this complementary pair it will work only only if input voltage is greater than 0.7 and less than minus 0.7 okay only within this range okay if it is greater than we will get the linear relationship if the input voltage is less than 0.7 okay so basically this will be off okay and this will also be off so there will be no output voltage we will get zero transfer function so between this range minus 0.7 to 0.7 there will be no output so this region basically is called as dead region okay this is called as dead region or we call this uh, we also call this as crossover distortion okay so what will be the distortion okay if, uh, ideal case what will happen if you are getting positive cycle here i will get the positive cycle if i get negative cycle here at the output side i will get the negative cycle but now what is happening if you are supplying positive cycle okay so we are getting output when the positive cycle is greater than 0.7 okay then there will be no output and again we will get the output when it is less than minus 0.7 okay so basically zero positive working then no output then again less than minus 0.7 we get this one Okay. so we are not actually getting complete output signal there is some distortion there is some truncation of the uh, output signal here okay so these are this is basically due to this dead region here due to the crossover distortion so that is basically the problem of the class b amplifier that we have the crossover distortion how we can solve this that is basically the topic for the, the next class of the amplifier which is called class a b amplifier Okay, we will see that at that stage okay
so what is actually happening here due to this dead band okay we uh, we are getting a distorted output signal okay like in between this region so if we have a sine wave output okay like in class a amplifier okay that your output signal is a complete sine wave so sine wave basically if you take its fourier transform it have only one frequency component okay for example if this is 60 hertz sine wave so i will have only one frequency component at 60 hertz okay but in class b amplifier what is happening your output signal is not pure sine wave we have some distortion here get positive distortion positive distortion positive negative like that so this is the output signal which we are getting so basically no it is not a pure sine wave so there will be other frequency component if we take its spectrum so we will have the fundamental frequency component and we will have its harmonics okay like 2f naught 3f naught 4f naught 5f naught so f naught is the fundamental frequency component and there will be other harmonics because of this distorted network okay so because of and these harmonic components are not required these are not the basically the actual requirement not essential so due to the presence of these harmonics there will be distortion harmonic that we call this as harmonic distortion okay which is actually undesired and it actually makes the transfer of information uh, not good okay there will be losses and that loss is basically termed as harmonic distortion and for the all harmonics we calculate the total harmonic distortion okay and if you want to calculate the harmonic distortion uh, for any nth harmonic okay we have first harmonic second third fourth for any harmonic if you want to calculate percentage harmonic distortion so we will take its amplitude whatever amplitude it has divided by the maximum amplitude of the harmonics okay so that will be the uh, n harmonic percentage distortion and if you want to calculate the total harmonic distortion so for every harmonic we will calculate the nth order harmonic distortion take its square next harmonic calculate the percentage harmonic distortion take its square and then eventually we take the uh, square of square root of that and multiply with 100 so that will be the percentage total harmonic distortion in the ideal case if we have sine wave so there will be only one frequency component so basically total harmonic distortion will be zero no harmonic distortion so when we get basically non-linear behavior okay we will get different harmonic components so that cause basically total harmonic distortion so ideal case is we should try to minimize this total harmonic distortion as much as possible we will solve the relevant example about the class v amplifier and the harmonic distortion in the live session. Thank you very much for your time.